And new tonight, as FPL feverishly works to finish restoring power in South Florida, it's also firing back at one city that may sue the utility. Right now, about 21,000 customers in Miami-Dade County and 4,700 customers in Broward still do not have electricity. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live in Coral Gables on that one block that just finally got its power back. Hank. Well, there's a big nasty fight going on now between the city of Coral Gables and FPNL. It's all about the trees, restoration, lawsuits are threatened. But remember, during the evening, we've been following this lady across the street. His husband is seriously ill and hospice in his home, nine days without electricity. Well, thanks to Pike, which is one of the subcontractors for FPNL, they got the lights back on. They're more comfortable tonight. Let's take a look. Pike, an FPNL subcontractor bringing light to Coral Gables. None too soon for Olga Ghani, her husband, James, in hospice, at home, nine days with no electrical power. It was desperate. I am very happy because I know he's sick, but he don't have to be so miserable when you are sick. You know, you have to try to make him comfortable. And he was, and it's unbelievable. Way too long to be out of power. FPNL not ready for the storm and restoration, says the Coral Gables city attorney, who cited the company for not living up to their franchise agreement. FPNL needs to have better infrastructure. They need better infrastructure to be able to deal with hurricanes, better preparation. Lean says FPNL dropped the ball when they did not get everyone back on the grid by midnight Sunday night as promised. And now, Lean is considering suing the sole provider of electricity to most of South Florida. FPL promised that, and they did not comply with it. And we held them to it. The issue, the gables and gables trees. This is FPNL video showing overgrown trees and power lines. They just don't mix, especially when you put a hurricane into the picture. FPNL firing back at the gables administration. We will not be moved by self-entitled politicians who are looking for someone to blame for the city's irresponsibly managed tree program. The fact is the city of Coral Gables has for many years resisted FPNL's well-documented efforts to trim trees and harden our electrical system. And they should be able to deliver power in a way that doesn't cause a city to have to eliminate what makes it unique. You know, they need to deliver power in a way that works, which means underground if necessary, or above ground in a way that works. And they have a duty to trim those trees. Okay, lawsuits galore. Uh, the Gables has not filed yet. The village of Pinecrest voted to sue FPNL, and several local law firms, they're filing class action suits against the power company. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News tonight. Bye. Thank you, Hank.